Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family, and happy Saturday night. That's when I'm taping, but when you're looking at this video, you may get it in the afternoon or the morning time. Okay, but happy, 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 happy feelings. Woo, happy feelings. Okay, okay, okay. Just what makes that little old ant thinks he can move that rubber tree plant. Anyone knows an ant can't move a rubber tree plant but she has high hopes she has high hopes she has sky up a pie in the sky hope so any time you're feeling low just from letting go just remember that and whoa who's that goes another rubber tree whoops that goes another rubber tree whoops that goes another rubber tree plant da 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 wank wank yes honey Ciao, baby i hope y'all enjoyed that little diddly and i hope y'all was snapping y'all fingers going back to the nursery rhyme times you know what i'm saying hey because lord knows i heard this story i said lord have mercy okay why, 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 Nene? Why, why, why? So, yes, you know by me just pronouncing her name, we're going to be talking about her. Okay? I don't know. I'm like, girl, the people that you are hanging around, they dumb as hell. They are dumb as hell. Because they said, Nene, I don't know how true it is, but the way I'm getting my source is Tamara Daddles. And usually she come with the tea. Okay? With the pot or kettle. With the cup to drink out of and a little appetizer on the side okay girl i was like mm, 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 mm. what are you doing nene what are you doing i guess it's what you're not doing is just getting you in trouble okay but we're gonna be talking about tamra tettles on her platform okay she has delivered us a tale okay I'm going to say it's exclusive, but I don't know if she was the first one. Yes, she did. I guess she was the first one to bring out this story. Because she does her research and she does it well, okay? She does it well. She does it well. Hey, Nene, wear it well. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. She wears it well. She wears it, wears it, wears it well. Yeah. She wears stupidity real good, okay? It's a nice look on her. She continue to keep doing it. Like I said, I ain't finna give people the benefit of the doubt no more. I'm just gonna say this is what it is. This is what they're doing out there. We just don't have no hope for them anymore. We're gonna leave them to their own devices because we get tired of telling black folks, white folks, Chinese folks, Asian folks, Indian folks, Eskimos. We get tired of giving our good advice and it just falls on deaf ears. You see what I'm saying? So we're just going to label her in her stupidity and just let her go on and we'll just chastise here and there. Okay? But we're not going to be putting any emphasis on Nene knowing better because if she don't know better, I don't know what to tell her. I really don't know what to tell her. But I'm, I'm beginning to think Greg was her... Um, her negotiator, her contract leader, because who she got now? Well, we all know he's still married because ain't nothing came out saying that Shabba man, Shabba, uh, yes, is unmarried. You know what I'm saying? Got a divorce. He has a clean bill of health on that department. We can't even say that, okay? So that's just mud in her face also. But anyway, they're saying out there, Tamla, Tamara Tattles is telling us that Nene Case got dismissed in court, okay? It, we have to go back to the drawing board, just like I always told y'all. And if y'all been riding with me for a long time, y'all know that I did a story on it about 
the rules and regulations on the housewives, which can, which cannot do. Okay? And it was very simple. They put it out there. And if you want to be a part of their platform, you have to follow the instructions. You have to follow the direction. You have to follow everything they say you must do and what you cannot do to the T, to the letter. You see what I'm saying? <sighs> but evidently, Nene just refused to look at that clause in her contract. Uh, and I don't know who and why her lawyer didn't do the same damn thing. Unless they were just trying to throw salt, mud, anything negative about the Bravo franchise or NBC Universal. They just wanted to just put them out there and hopefully they'll screw up. But they ain't going to screw up because they got them contracts on lock. I think they've been into the inception of this is what you're going to have to do. And they might have fine-tuned it along the way. But it's always been there. Arbitration. Hell, in some of my jobs. I'm an independent contractor as well. Um, and I have to follow by their rules. And I, hell, I don't even think I can sue them. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I'm doing certain things. <sighs> let's get on into the story. Okay, let's just get on into the story. All right, but how y'all doing today before we really get in the story? Because I, I really want to know what your day was like, how you were doing, what you do on this Saturday, girl. Me, I was out there shopping, doing some, you know, shopping stuff at the house. And uh, I went out there around, what, the three Walmarts. Uh, where else I go? Hell, I think I was just in Walmart playing around. Okay, because I get my pharmacy meds from them and then I, I shop. You know, for the house, for them, a grocery shop too. I didn't get a chance to go to Kroger, but uh, I was just tired as hell because I was looking for some compression stockings. And um, I had to go to three different stores before I found out where I could have got all of them. And, you know, I took all of them. It was, I wear a small and a medium. And I took every last one. I think I took six boxes, child. I was just, just taking to go. I'm like, because I have to wear them for the rest of my life. And even if I lose weight, a substantial amount of weight, that may be a plus for me. But I think I would still have to wear the compression stockings because, uh, from what he told me, it's the, the damage is already done. And then with my age, you know, you just be falling apart half the time when you hit your 50s. You just be, you know falling apart but it just is what it is we pray about it and we go on okay we don't indulge in it but anyway going into the story we must indulge in this okay because again we're looking at stupidity uh the definition of stupidity printed on a person okay but anyway it says well stevie wonder could have seen this coming nene leaks lawsuit was thrown out of court what out of court yes out of court um uh, yesterday, a Tamar Tattle source is exclusively reporting. Nene's contract and every other Bravo contract specifies that legal disagreements must go through arbitration. Okay, basically, basically the NBC slash Comcast slash Bravo slash Truly defendants were negotiating with counsel for Nene because the Bravo contract says they have to go through private arbitration instead of court. The court extended their deadline to respond to the lawsuit in order to work through the issues. Okay, on deadline, that means August 19th of this year, all parties agreed to dismiss the lawsuit. Okay, although the dismissal does not mean, does not mention arbitration language, that's likely the next routine for Nene to take if she still wants to sue. Unless all of this was just for publicity which it probably was but it, you know like i said you want to put salt on somebody because you felt they did you wrong well are you going to be partaking in that same entertainment field in that same industry and you want people to hire you and pay you well you kind of did yourself dirty nene you didn't do your due diligence and you did not operate in the arena you should have been operating in because again i posed the question to you love would you hire your own self would you hire your own self if you had to negotiate whether you're going to keep this person or not and all the things that you did said and acted out would you hire yourself nene would you um okay anyway that's something to think about think about it nene just think about it okay and then we said um 
me see. It says case closed. It's unlikely that Nene even showed up for the dismissal. She got a Brazilian butt lift the day before dismissal. And of course, someone was filming most of that for Instagram, as one does. Okay. <laughs> Hey, but again, like I said, she ain't doing nothing. Nobody else ain't did. Really, it seems like she's following in the footsteps of Candy Burris. Because Candy Burris was the first one who showed us, was transparent enough, uh, honest enough to say, I'm going to take y'all on my journey when it comes to uh, getting my breasts reducted. Now, she didn't show us when she got them plumped up, of course. But she went through the whole process of saying, you know, she put too much on her little frame. It was hurting her back, this, that, and the third. And she wanted to, you know, come in and talk about some flaws she was having and what she was going to be doing about it. Okay, I think she went to Alabama to get her. Or was it South Carolina? Hell, I can't remember. If y'all remember the incident, please put it down in the comments, okay? Please put it down in the comments for reference, all right? But, uh, yeah, I've said, okay, Nene. Nene, 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 bonini, fanana, fanana, fo, fi, me, me, ma, monina, nene, okay, I don't think I said that right, but it is what it is, okay, oh, but nene, that's what's the case, that's what's the, and then we got to get on that Brazilian butt lift, because once you said in a statement, uh, you don't want a Brazilian butt lift, you don't want your ass big and all this stuff, you just want a mini one, I'm like, nene, 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 so you just want to put yourself as a person we love to hate, is that basically what you're trying to do, since you can't get us on your side, but you do have your fanatics, your fans, your loyalties, uh, people up there that will reign for you, regardless if you act in a butt naked ass fool. Okay, and that's sad. That's sad that nobody won't uh, in your fan base, uh, you know, tell you you're living foul. Get it right. Get it together, girl, girl. And then I saw you did a little tribute to Greg. I'm like, out of all the shit you've been doing out him, for you to reference your husband saying you miss him. Uh, is, that, is that not a slap in the face to your boyfriend that you so uh, happily took up with right after grass passed and y'all had put him in the grave? I think it was a relationship that had formed prior to Greg getting really, really sick and being deceased. But that's just me, you know. I, I, have, I have comments. I have ways of looking at things. And it may not always be right. It may not always be right. But guess what? I had an opinion about it. <sighs> but anyway, that's all I have for this video, guys. Like I love it, gotta have more fun. You know I will be back because we're going to talk about that butt lift. Okay, we're going to talk about all those shenanigans she went to try to improve herself. Take fat from here, take fat from there. I'm like, Nene, are you going to eat right? Are you going to be exercising to make sure you don't gain some of that fat back? uh around your sides and in the back where your bra area is honey because you um, we're not unlikely you know more likely you just go back and get a touch-up job you like going on under the knife the laser all that stuff to be pretty and, and to be um aesthetically pleasing to society and the cameras and you whatever you know and i'm like what's well, nothing wrong with you nene you're not an ugly woman you know what i'm saying <sighs> I don't understand. I, don't, I really don't understand. But if that's your coin, you want to play out your dollars and cents and all that on getting work done on yourself. I mean, you're 55 now. When is enough going to be enough, baby? Or are you just going to be like all of the other plastic people out there? Because you're not back. You're not turning your lifetime or your lifespan backwards you're still going forward so you're actually supposed to look a little bit more mature a little bit more distinguished a little bit more polished okay because you want to separate yourself from the girls from the ladies and be in the woman field you see what i'm saying you can't transport back to it being 18 19 20 25 you, you can't I don't see why you want to. You know what I'm saying? Because at that time, you're making plenty of mistakes. You're learning. You're growing. You're maturing. You see what I'm saying? And at the age that you are now, if none of that has come to you, you ain't going to get it, baby. You're just going to be dumb. Uh, you're going to be dumb, having fun, and, and, and your money just going to be loose out there. 
Okay, but maybe you want your money loose out there. You don't want no security blanket. None of that. Okay? I don't know if you're going to get it from your boyfriend. Because more so, it seems like he's using you more than you're using him. Okay? But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I'll see y'all in the next video.